Good evening, friends. Welcome back to my channel, Snack Trade. My name is Robin, and let's do an opinion bank of the analysis for tomorrow. Sorry for the late video, but uh, I wanted to you know be up to date in posting the videos, so I thought of doing it late today. So amazing moment done in both Nifty and Bank Nifty today. Uh, you know, if you all remember, we saw the data yesterday in the analysis video. And if you remember, I mentioned a point wherein FIs were holding calls, and I said, you know, this could be like a uh, you know confusing day, and there is a possibility that the market can go down. And we also expected a, a reversal from the bottom. And on the positional video that I posted, I mentioned that we had a weekly support in Bank Nifty at somewhere close to 42,950. And that was this level. And exactly, Bank Nifty took support here and showed a sharp recovery and filled the gap completely. Sorry. So, amazing day today. Like, uh, in our algo, we covered the down move. And in the personal trade that we do, uh, I covered the put shot and everything went well. So this is how Nifty also moved today. It directly opened gap down, uh, broke this low with a follow through and continued its fall and somewhere close to the support of around 18 to 100. Nifty took support and reversed completely and almost filled the gap. Um, there is some more place remaining. So why this gap down occurred? Uh, one of the core reasons based on price action, it is uh, Nifty closed near the weekly resistance and the market opened gap down. So tomorrow there is a possibility we may again open here and we may see a dip too. So let's first discuss the data and we'll discuss the price action. Mm, yeah, this is the December 20 data. Oh, I forgot to switch on my tool. Okay, if you look at the futures, Positions from FIs looks like FIs uh, are really angry on the Indian market. Uh, they had booked their shots, and unfortunately, they had to add the shots again. Is what we can see here. If you see, they have booked a lot of long positions, and they have nearly added about seventeen thousand shots in index futures. So this is a concern as of now because even the stock future continues to remain negative and they have also added negative positions in the index future if they do not cover this index future in the next one or two days then the december month uh, could end up being bearish okay look at how the futures data have changed from 17133 yesterday it went to 28616 and today it is at 1904 negative. So, too much of uh, short positions now in index future. If you look at the options, uh, we could only see close long, uh, close short, but uh, FIs have created some short positions in uh, call options and some long positions in put options so this indicates uh, bearishness so tomorrow uh, there are two things that we need to you know be watchful for so what are the two things since it was uh, film nifty expiry today close positions we have seen close long and close short that means definitely they have now closed their positions and uh, pros definitely had a, a lot of problem today because they are the ones who had too many put shots and uh, finally they had to short cover it 
in losses and F has managed to take the market up. They did some buying in the cash market and the market definitely recovered too. So now what should be the plan tomorrow? So the first thing is uh, we will have to rely on option chain tomorrow. So what are the uh, parameters that you will need to watch? First one is change in open interest and the second thing is volume. So volume whichever side you see more, uh, preferably you know, the difference between call and put volume at uh, around at the money uh, should be more than 2 lakhs. So whichever side is more, the market may move on that side. Okay. But tomorrow being a Wednesday and you know Wednesday like movement was already done on a Tuesday. So I'm expecting a consolidation tomorrow. Uh, so market may say so again both side move, but definitely the swing will not be this big. So how do we trade tomorrow is uh, for example, Nifty opens gap up uh, around 18.420 to 18.450. This is uh, again a profit booking area. So retailers are bullish. Yesterday they were bearish and market definitely moved according to them. So let's hope that tomorrow also market opens according to retailers. And if we open here, uh, there is a strong possibility of profit booking. And if that happens, we may stay within the range in Nifty. Uh, the range should be 18,450 to the least is 18,330. So this should be the range for tomorrow. So this place to this place. If we open flat, uh, we'll have to wait and see which side we go. The best is we open flat and if it starts moving upside this will be the uh, best trade and we will go short here okay we'll trade put and the first target should be 18 350 and then eventually 330 uh what if it opens flat and gives a dip so if it gives a dip uh, let's wait for the dip and if it takes a U-turn from this place, I think this is pretty decent to take a call here. But in case if it gives a dip until this place, then the recovery until 18,450 can be a little difficult. Okay, so keep that in mind. What if market opens gap down? If market opens gap down, uh, then again it's a problem because we have seen a sharp recovery here and uh, all these bulls will be trapped and that could be one of the good scenario for FIs and close. So if we open gap down, uh, we'll wait and see if we fill the gap. If we fill the gap, then we can go short here and if we do not fill the gap and we trade sideways here, then we'll have to trade a range breakout or a breakdown. And the third possible scenario of opening gap down is uh, you will have to rely on the option chain. Okay, keep an eye on the option chain and see where the positions are being built. And based on that, you can take a trade. But definitely, the data insists bearishness. So, any gap down opening, if it fills the gap immediately, definitely we can go for a put. Okay, so gap down, fill the gap, buy a put. Flat opening, if it goes to 18,450. We buy a put or a gap up opening at this area. We buy a put. This is the plan for Nifty. Let's quickly check out Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty almost filled the gap. Uh, so now what next is we have a strong resistance at 43,540. Okay. So if market opens here, we go short here, and your first target should be around 43. 300 okay so somewhere at this place the 
today's first candle high is going to be your uh, target okay if we open flat and we give a dip if that dip comes to 43 233 here we buy a call here and your first target should be around 43 400 okay so this should be a target any gap down opening here uh, we may see this up move but when it reaches around 380 we go for a put avoid taking the call uh, during the gap down we'll wait for this retracement and we'll go for a put uh, so we discussed gap up gap down and flat opening also i think uh, that's it for bank nifty one thing i wanted to show you all in the option chain um, let me show you that okay so if you look at the option chain uh, see today you could only see short covering on the put side and there is no significant writing on the call side writing is there but it's not that significant uh, so when i say significant this percent value should be more than 55 percent then you, you know you're sure that uh, if it is more than 55 percent on the call side we know that the market is going to be bearish and similarly if it is there on the put side we know that the market is going to be bullish so we need this figure so definitely we'll have to rely on the uh, fresh data in the option chain tomorrow so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty today our view is almost going correct every day so definitely whenever we are correct we should try to make as much as money as possible thank you for watching let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye